Say hi from Cherish Math. This is the question for today. Find the length of x based on this diagram. Here, AC is the length of x. AB is 6 unit. BC is with 5 unit. This is with the angle theta. And this angle is 2 theta. By using the supplementary angles, we get to know for this part is 180 degrees minus the sum of 2 theta and theta, and that is 3 theta. From this diagram, we know that 6 is opposite 180 degrees minus 3 theta, while 2 theta is the opposite of 5. And now we are using the sine rule to solve the problem as the beginning. And this is how it goes. In the next step, I'm going to use this so-called double angle formula and the addition formula of the trigonometric for sine to solve the problem. Now, I would just have to expand this by using the formula stated above here. Now it turns sine 180 degrees cos 3 theta minus cos 180 degrees sine 3 theta divided by 6. And over here, I'm getting 2 sine theta cos theta divided by 5. Sine 180 degrees multiply cos 3 theta is getting with 0 because sine 180 degrees, the answer is 0, while cos 180 degrees is negative 1. Negative 1 multiplied with a negative here, I got positive. So the answer for this part is sine 3 theta divided by 6 equal to sine theta cos theta divided by 5 and it is much simpler now for sine 3 theta here is the same as sine theta plus 2 theta while the rest over 6 equal 2 sine theta cos theta divided by 5 I would just have to follow suit and this turns out something like this. So we carry on with the expansion of the sine theta plus 2 theta here. The expanded equation turns out here. In the next step, I need to substitute the value of cos 2 theta and sine 2 theta from the double angle formula of the trigonometric into this equation. And that forms this equation that I have put up here. In the next step, I am going to simplify this equation. After rearranging this equation, it turns out like this. And rearrange one more time, it turns 20 cos square theta minus 12 cos theta minus 5 equal 0. This formula, in order to find what is the value of the cos theta, I will have to use the quadratic formula to get it. Now, let me use the quadratic formula to solve what is the value of cos theta here. That turns out 12 plus minus the square root of negative 12 square minus 4 times 20 times negative 5 divided by 2 times 20. Now, cos theta 
equal twelve plus minus four times square root of thirty four divided by forty. We need to find what is the value of the cos theta here based on a diagram of this triangle. And since the value of theta is an acute angle, so cos theta has to be in a positive value. And this number 12 plus 4 square root of 34 will definitely produce a value in positive. But however, 12 minus 4 multiplied square root of 34 will get a negative value. So in this case, we simply must drop the negative. And this is the value that we are taking into consideration now. Further simplifying this equation, we are going to get cos theta equal 3 plus square root of 34 divided by 10. Next, I'm going to use the cosine rule to solve this triangle with the value of the x here. That would be x square equal 5 square plus 6 square minus 2 multiplied 5 multiplied 6 cos theta. And the value of this cos theta we have to pick up from here. If I substitute into that, it would be three plus square root of thirty four divided by ten. Let me simplify this equation. X square equal 43 minus 6 multiplied square root of 34 and the value of the x here that I'm getting is the square root of 43 minus 6 times square root of 34 and the value of the x is approximately with 2.83 units and this is the answer of the problem thanks for watching and please subscribe